Okay, so behind me is a Pacific 24. This is the fourth generation of one of the Navy's prime rigid inflatable boats. Uh, and at the moment we're building 60 boats under an enabling contract, which is three years work for the small boats operation here in Portsmouth. Uh, we're currently at the mid position, um, coming up to boat 30 and is in production right now. And we're currently knocking out one boat every two weeks on a, on a continuous basis. The schedule has been quite challenging, as it always is, but uh, we've produced boats more efficiently every time. And that boat 27 represented a milestone of achievement, really, whereby we got the schedule exactly where we wanted it to be. And, and going forward, we're now into positive territory towards delivery. So this is a Mark IV variant of the boat, first built in 1995. Um, and this boat has been redesigned in the last two years. And this last version is a Solas Safety of Life at Sea variation of the boat and for that safety life at sea certification the boat has been redesigned although it looks the same it's fundamentally different um, it's got a, a lightweight powerful engine it's got a completely new set of composite uh, materials in it and it was all done to engineer some weight saving in the boat hull the boat when it's on a ship has to hang off a davit and it's lifted out the water and that weight restriction means that we had to save weight and the reason we save weight is to enable the MOD to put some specialist seats onto the boat. Now these seats are whole volley vibration. In other words, they are, they're designed to protect the crew and, and, the, and, the, and the passengers on the, on the boat for the shock loading you get when you're riding across the, the sea at high speed. Obviously we're halfway through the build, or approaching halfway now, but we've just incorporated an upgrade to the comm system, literally to give an, a, sl a slightly better enhancement for the, for the ship and for the crew. Uh, and even though that's halfway through the project, we'll now re-engineer that into the rest of the boats and retrofit that into the previous boats we've built at some point in the future.